Hello everyone. I wanted to give you an idea of um, Soul Collage Card work, work in Progress, some of the cards that I'm working on at the moment, and to give you a bit of an idea how um, I put them together, how they're made. So um, this is um, the folder with some of my backgrounds in, my background papers. Um, I tried to go for fairly plain uh, backgrounds. Um, oh, this is a lovely forest, and I could have various figures and things in there. Um, this is again, oh, what a jazzy one. Um, yeah, again, again, uh, sort of. I tried to keep the backgrounds fairly plain. Now, um, to give me a bit of an idea what the finished card will look like. I use a template. Um, it's exactly the same size as the card. This is the template. And I just lay it over the background. That's the starting point. Um, and then I put various images on the background uh, within the template. Um, and then that will give me a clue as to, to what the finished card will look like. So the template, as you can see, is exactly the same size as the Soul Collage card, and um, that's how that works. Um, now this is a card that I made earlier, and it's, there's a, there's a, I don't know whether you can see this, there's an image of a woman here, and she's releasing a dove, there's the dove there, and there's also a woman who looks like she's in a yoga pose, or, or in meditation. Um, but that's not the significance to me in this particular card. Um, and then there's two figures here looking rather forlorn, to be honest. And then um, there's a kind of a murkiness here. So this, um, it, it, I didn't know what the card was going to be about. I just stuck images down and um, looking at it, I decided that it was about soul retrieval. Uh, and this signifies the, the, the freedom of the soul returning back to um, the, the, the person that, that they fled from, um, usually because of some trauma, um, perhaps in childhood. So this, this is, could be a little soul part from, from somebody's child self. Um, and these, they could both be soul parts, in fact, both aspects or, or soul parts of, of the same person. Uh, and this slightly older child is looking after the, the, the smaller one. Um, now, um, I also wanted to show you some images that I use. So we've got the backgrounds, and then these are some images. This is from an advert, and adverts are absolutely wonderful for images. Um, I love this one with the, with the laughing nuns there. Um, this is an advert as well. And this is great because there are so many um, different aspects of this picture you can use. So, for instance, this chap, um, he looks quite thoughtful. He looks almost lost, even. And he's leaning on his shovel. Um, he's obviously been working hard. And there's a, there's a very stormy-looking um, sky in the background there. Now, the woman... Um, Strangely, they could be used together. So we have him looking thoughtful um, and lost. And then there she is. She's actually smiling. But So she could be used on her own to take him out. She's actually got her arms folded as well. So it's almost as though she's putting on a mask or she's crossing her arms. Um, she's kind of putting up barriers, um, something like that. There's all kinds of meanings that you could attach to it. And then the child, I think, is absolutely wonderful. This is a fantastic image. The expression on his face will be absolutely wonderful um, for a soul collage card, and that could mean so many things. And of course, it all depends on the context that you put the images in, what the backgrounds are, um, and, and the other objects that you put in, in the card. Um, now, where are we? This is a, is a card that is a work in progress. I selected this image here. I just liked the image. Um, it's an image of a girl looking out to sea, and you can see her reflection in the water, and there's a single rock here in the distance that she seems to be looking at. Um, and I was playing around, and um, I decided to put some 
stones on in the foreground there. Now these are small stones, but because of the perspective, they actually look like boulders now. Um, again, I don't know, I haven't got a clue what this card's all about, but I was just p putting it together as I go along. And I decided to put this image of a very large head um, in there. Um, and again, I don't know at the moment what it signifies, but it could be some kind of goddess, or it could be um, to do with inspiration or creativity, or um, perhaps uh, collective consciousness. It's all in the in the kind of brain mind area. Um, so I'm sure I shall find out as I go along what that's all about. But don't really have a clue at the moment. <laughs> but sometimes that's how it goes, and that's half the that's half the fun of it. Um, so I think that's yeah that's that's it for now um, and um, what I shall do I think I'd really like to put together um, the, the course um, which which will explain the whole process in more detail um, in all aspects of what soul collage is all about so that's something I'm going to be doing in the future um, and I shall get cracking on it now and um, I'm looking forward to, to doing that and to featuring some more soul collage cards and aspects of soul collage in future e-zines and on my site. Okay, all right, that's it. Bye for now. Bye.